Welcome back. We're here. Chapter 4, I think. Chapter 4, Chapter 5. Maybe. I think it's Chapter 5, yep. We're in Japan. Japanese Grand Prix. I. Oh, wait, no. Are we not? No, what is it? F2 if we're the woman? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, boss. Got another one for you. Okay. He's just. Well, he's come over, said the car's crap, and then left. Great. David? Hello. Just uh, thought I'd come up and catch up. Wait, wait, wait. What time is it where you are? Doesn't matter. I wanted to report before the race. Ah, right. I did ask them to send across all the data to you. Perhaps they forgot. I'll make sure to, um... No, 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 I've got it all here. Busy man, Andrea. I don't have time to read all that. H how's it all look? Uh, the car is running well, data solid. Whole team seems confident and based on the forecasts. We're sticking to the original tie strategy as we discussed. So, we'll see. Good. And the boys? Keep to themselves. So no fireworks. Aiden's been a little quiet, but that's usually a good sign before a race. And Devin is... Uh... Well, I've already spoken to Devin. Oh, right. Well, keep up the good work. Well, good luck. I'm sure we'll speak up. This guy's doing my head. Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes. Testing. Made a car is ten times more important than the flipping the media, mate. We get more attention from winning the Grand Prix than we would from filming some crappy film. Okay, oh, I hate Japan as well. The Zanvor, Japan, and Hungary. Why? Why? Eight laps that would take more pass. Yuki. Yo Yuki, yo Yuki, yo Yuki, yo Yuki, yo Yuki, yo Yuki, yo Yuki. That could have been very deadly. He's still fighting it. Let me. What about that? What about that? You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Back marker. Latifi, mate. Latifi. Sugar. Sugar. Latifi, six laps into the race, is being overlap over being. Yes, English. I'll die again. Latifi is being lapped in after six laps by tenth place. I've also just messed up again. But I uh, take it. I uh, just can't even work. Aww. Uh, at least you can do these S's now with the new handling. Like. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. Long. Day. It's gonna be a very annoying episode. Out of the way, the TV. See you later, mate. 
six laps in and he's already been lapped. I've been at the bottom for the lap two. Carlos Sainz in there. I assume Sainz will get the overtake and then I'll just be straight on bottom. We've got. And it's at the end of lap 8 or the start of lap 8, I'm not sure, but we'll have lap 8. Full throttle. Oh, Barcelona's going to be nice, isn't it? No, she can't. I'm just ruining Barcelona, though. I'm going to make Barcelona boring. It's going to pay. Oh, I keep. I don't like it. Well, what happened? Let me know you're okay. Crash twice. Flashback five times. Japan. I'd be more fine with the curves than than do with the cars. Lap three has changed. Let French through. Ow! No, Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ow! I've made a joke already. But you guys haven't seen this video. I haven't made it in this video. Another pit stop here at Suzuka. This time it's Aiden Jackson coming in. He's been making steady progress today, and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results, and they could do without this. And look, there's chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels on the car at the moment, Crofty. Aiden Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, long time to wait. Just sat in the cockpit. What is going on down at Connor Sport? Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car, and Aiden Jackson's back out in the race, but it's a long time in the pit, and that will cost them dearly. <laughs> So I've sat, just drove this this track longer than I really wanted to. What was that? How many places did I lose? Okay, try not to worry about that, Aiden. Just focus on the race, get your head down, and let's put it. How down. how are you a pit crew getting paid top notch in the best of the best teams in F1, and you can only count to four, no to three, and you can't count to four, as I meant to say. That is embarrassing, and there's like four people on one tire. Yeah, so, like, come on, you scoop. How do you? How do four people realize? Oh, we don't have a tire, but we're just gonna stand by the car. I don't get that. Like, come on, this game could be more realistic and be like, oh, the jacks not tying the thing on properly and with a slow stop. But no, he's forgot the whole bloody tire. How do you forget a tire? It's his only job. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, I'm a pit, I'm at the pit crew. I'll whack on the tires on a car. How was your last pit stop? Oh, I forgot the tire. Stupid. You get killed if you do that in real life. You, you get fired immediately. I would get rid of you immediately. Captain, your teammate. Two minute thirty six and a half seconds. Okay, I'm going to the one. Really focus and nurse the car around here. Just ride that curb. Because if I try turning off it, I'm dead. Why is my overtake on? <laughs> Why 
What's my nose doing? Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Your car not accelerate. We're in hard mode, man. I think this would be a DRS. Clean move. Clean move. Clean move. Great move. What a move. Come on. What a move. No contact. Come on, no one's got that. I didn't even get a warning. Four point four seconds. Terrible damage. What's happened? I've run out of gear. I'm not going to slow down. I don't even know. I don't know braking this system, so I'm scared. What's wrong with my car? Okay, gearbox is used. So if I pit stop, then gearbox. That would be sick, or oh, uh, going back to what I said last episode, that would be sick going around in the cars that they were driving in the 1980s. That would be so good. Imagine a Nuremberg. Well, you get those games where you can do that, I think. Anyway. But, like, like, imagine a story. Like, imagine you could play the whole 1980 season. That would be sick. Okay, information on site. They've got some kind of mechanical Or, like, you played previous years. Like you start off in the 1960s with like all the classic cars, and when you play 40 years, 50 years into the future, then it like the cars change every year to the car that okay, they actually made in real life. Remaining. And you can like challenge yourself because you know what cars good on, and all that bars, you can just go to the bad teams and like put the shift there. That'd be that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> but there's no way they have patience to do that. Also he's gonna wait 40 years of career well. Because that's like over over a whole year some people would, you know. But that is like a season each week, but some people play that like a lot. And it depends on if you do five lap length races you can do it and that's pretty boring. Thirty five percent of like the one I'm gonna sell. 25 in the ones and like 35 per second. But the 50 is just too long. And the 25 is just too short. Sure. I just. Hold on. I've just done the S's, but I didn't even. I'm saying a waffle exam. I don't even remember. Like, what's going on. I've completely lost yet. Yeah. I've done the S's whilst waffling. I mean, the level of focus that happens when I'm just staring at this green line. This is that game. Man. Just staring at a green line and pressing it. L2 and L3. Oh, we're gonna get three wide, are we? Two wide, right, I've been closed off. Is that the move of massive balls or what? We're currently trailing our teammate by 4.9 seconds. Why is he backed off? I don't know why he backed off. He probably had the engagement space as well. I mean, it's not clean, but I'm getting yeses done now. 
fat and crushing them once. And gap to the car in front is 2.5 seconds. If I don't get it, does that mean I'll fail and let's restart, or does that mean I just get abused in the deep loop? Because I'd rather take the abuse. Or get stuck in fourth gear! What the heck? You do it again, you do it again. Why right, Bowser is James, mate? Bowser is James! Bowser is James, let Jackson through! Let Jackson through! Bloody curb, mate! Leave me alone, fam! Fam. I just said fam. I'm so sorry. I'm playing F1, I just said fam. Oh dear. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can we get a bottle off? Can we get a bottle off? Great maneuver. You made it look so easy. He's got to pull up, too. He's got to pull it out of me. Nah, I think if he weren't all over the place, then the S's we wouldn't get him, but... Because we're all in the place at the start, I guess, is the first couple of laps between the S's. We ain't getting there. Right, because that one wins, who would have thought? Not me. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Oh. I click everything in my get all well, it's still too close to call at the top of the table. Meanwhile, at the other end, Ant, you can really understand Aiden Jackson's frustrations today. Yeah, they've had car problems all season long, Crofty. They've had a bad mix up in the garage today. And Connor Sport won't be proud of that one. And Connor. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible. I swear. Oh, baby. Okay. Yeah, forget that. Here we are again. Uh, Aiden, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to ask. That piss yeah, well, we know that every race has a hiccup, so you can just never tell when it's going to happen. You just got to be ready and roll the punches. I guess on the plus side, a mess up like that means that. Remember, it's just 2022. Well, there is a lot of talk on social media about whether Devon is actually getting preferential treatment by the team. So, do you think is there any truth to that, or is it an unfair assumption? <laughs> uh, Devon struggles to keep up sometimes, so maybe could use a little preferential treatment. Sigma. <laughs> Whatever helps Devon helps the team. It's it's fine. Well, Aiden, the list seems to get longer. Car reliability, you and Devon bumpy wheels, and now issues in the pit lane. Huge mounting problems at Connor Sport. Has there been any talk at all about what the team might do next season, considering that you and Devon just don't seem to get along? If I'm being honest, um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't open to any offers next season. 
That's just business. So who knows what will happen next year? And finally, I've got to ask you about this. It has been reported that Mercedes have agreed a deal for George Russell to play a small part in the latest Throttle Zone movie. What do you make of that? I've always thought George would make a great actor, actually. I mean, he's got his own suit, he's ready for the red carpet. He's got a lot to offer outside of the F1 world, so, um, yeah, I'm pleased that he's finally getting the chance to show us all what he's, what he's got. Appreciate it. Thank you. Pierre, I've got that. Oh, yeah, Pierre! 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 It's me! It's me, Pierre! It's me! It's me, Pierre! It's me! What? <laughs> News stuck in the pits. Who, yeah, we know I was there. <laughs> Steady climbing my phone. About what you saw the race, right? What is there to say? Thought you could do with blowing off a little steam. <sighs> what is even the point in wasting any more energy? It's not the car, it's the team. It's not the team, it's the car. No one seems to care how much effort I'm putting into all of this, which is why you need to double down. Listen, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but the top three are talking, A1. What? what? They've already well, that's not what it is, it's like Andy. It's some last minute negotiations on the cards, but keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No doubt there'll be some wrangling. You're contracted for another season, but your um, tenacity has been noticed. Wow, uh... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything you're not supposed to know. I hate to admit it, but Connor Sport can't keep up with you, Aiden. Just do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. What is it? I need you to push as hard as you can to get as much out of you before I lose you to a better team. Can you do that for me? Of course. No problem. Good boy. You know I'm here. So bang, off the old fake phone that we have in the game, and off to the end of the video. Brilliant, uh, good fight in Japan there. Awful pit crew, some geese I forgot for the entire, even though it's his job, isn't it? And yeah, I'll see you next video, goodbye.